you go in the sun, there are all of these nutrients that are made in the skin that are beyond cholecalciferol, which is the precursor to 25 hydroxy vitamin D, which is what we me measure, which is a precursor to 125 hydroxy vitamin D, which is the active form of vitamin D. You know, I've done a podcast with Malcolm Kendrick in which we talked about the importance of nitric oxide at the level of the endothelium. And I think there are a few things more important the nitric oxide at the level of the endothelium, things that decrease nitric oxide in the endothelium seem to create more atherosclerosis. Things that increase nitric oxide seem to be beneficial. This is a completely uh, LDL independent mechanism. So do you want to make more nitric oxide in ultraviolet light? Yeah. Do you want to just sit inside all day with fears of skin cancer and, and just take a vitamin D supplement? I would say no. You know, anecdotally, whenever I post online about these anecdotal stories of people who have less burning from the sun when they go to an animal-based diet and cut out the seed oils, you get hundreds, if not thousands of voices chiming in and saying, me too. Now that's so cool that I just gotta, I have to hypothesize that a lot of skin cancer risk, whether it's squamous, basal, or melanoma, which is not an entirely sun-related cancer, are potentially worsened, exacerbated by seed oils, excess seed oil consumption in our skin. So it really connects everything. And the thing I wanted to say is that you mentioned vitamin K2, and that was one nutrient that I left out from liver. So important. And people will say, because I'll often make the claim as I did on Rogan, there are tons of nutrients that you can get in animal foods that you can't get in plant foods. And that's something important to really emphasize here. I see a real discordance. I see a real inequality favoring animal foods because of the number of nutrients that are only found in animal foods in any appreciable quantity. Many of the ones I mentioned earlier, riboflavin, choline, et cetera, but also vitamin K2. And when I say K2, people will come back and say, wait, you can get vitamin K2 in natto. But what I'll say to them in response is, but you can't get the full spectrum MK4 to MK11. As you said, it's mostly MK7, I believe, that's in natto and the plant foods. But you're not going to get MK4 and you're not going to get MK5 or 6 or 8 or 9. And so a full spectrum of menaquinones only found in animal foods. But get in the sun, get real vitamin D. You've got to, there's, there's, there's all these compounds we don't even know about. And I love that you wrapped it back in. It's like, man, you mean it's just as simple as living like my ancestors did for the last 2 million years? Yeah, it's just that simple, right? Annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points. From the website doctorstotrust.com, you can view the summary notes and share or print the PDF of those notes.